Hi folks, um, I want to talk about how to connect um, Power Virtual Agent to Power Automate. So why would you want to do this in the first place, you might ask me. So the first thing you need to do or the first thing you might want to do is build complex integrations. If you need to um, power your chatbot with some other services, online services like let's say Twilo for SMS or WhatsApp chatbot, you would definitely need sort of this integration. Um, if you work in an enterprise, you probably have existing APIs. Uh, you might want to consume these APIs um, in your chatbot. And also, you might want to format like responses, like customer responses, and make it look much more interesting or display much more interesting to your customer. So how do we achieve this or what are we going to do to achieve this? So the first thing you want to do is identify the API in question. You want to understand the JSON format, especially if this is a REST API. Um, you want to add a flow to an existing topic, the topic you've created uh, for this purpose. And you want to amend um, this flow in Power Automate. So when we talk about amending, you probably want to pass in like input, um, we can have one or two manipulations or a couple of them and you potentially provide an output that is displayed to the customer. And lastly, I would always say do not forget to test. Testing is really important. So let's have a look at the sample API we'll be using. Um, it's rapidapi.com and they do have an API for Skyscan of Flight Search. So this is what I'm using. It's a freemium version. So it's what I'm using to get like a lot of information from Skyscanner. So this particular API we'll be using is um, a list is called list places, and you need to provide you know important information as either part of the header or the required parameters as well. So as part of the header request, you will need to provide an API key, um, an API host. And as far as the required parameters, you need four required parameters. You need the query, the country, the currency, and the locale as well. So in theory, if you were um, trying to access that through Node.js, this might look something of this sort, um, where you provide all these parameters. I would always say you need to test. Uh, you need to also, if you remember from what we said in number two, you need to identify or understand how the api core would look like or understand how the json format would look like and that's why i have my postman here so i do have a sample one where i've triggered this postman as well and i've provided you know this is a get request as you can see here and um, i've passed in the query as well and um, i've passed in a couple of other things as part of the header you have the key key and you have the host so in theory, this looks like this, you know, you have different, it's coming up with, you know, a JSON that has different places in London. So I have London Heathrow, Heathrow, uh, oh geez, forgive me for pronouncing that that way. So um, you have Gatwick as well, and you have Stansted Airport. All of these are just airport or places in London that actually, you know, have um, flights going to and fro as well. So let's try this in Power Automate and in Power Virtual Agents and see how this works in practice. So you want to make sure you're logged into Power Virtual Agent. So we're going to be using the port um, that we started in the previous video. Um, we don't have any trigger phrases at the moment, but I'm going to quickly create a trigger phrase or a couple of them. So what we need to do is make sure we save the topic first, then go into the authoring canvas and we need to make this much more interactive. So I'm going to change this message to, um, to a question actually. I'm going to delete this, change this to a question. The next thing we're going to do is call an action. So I already have a couple of APIs here, but I'm going to create a new flow. It does take a few um, seconds as well. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to change this name here. You can change the name. I'm going to 
change this to get all places from sky scanner yeah it's probably a long name but don't worry about it so i'm going to include um a type of user input so i'm going to call this user input called i'm going to call it place and i'm going to create an output as well and i'm going to call that output as status for now let's call this status and i'm going to provide the other one called um list of places okay so what i'm going to include as part of this is i'm going to include something called um http and um this is a premium um this is a premium connector um but you would need um some premium access so what i'm going to do is go back into this page i know it's a get method from here i'm going to make sure this is a get method as well um include get method and i'm going to put in the request url so the request url i'm going to grab that from here i'm going to grab that and copy that paste that here as well and um if you remember you need to include some things as part of the headers i'm going to include this as part of the header as well and um, let's grab the other key as well let's do the same thing for the host So we're going to include a query parameter as well. We have some query parameters here, but there's some of the other ones I've provided as part of the headers, um, which is the um, you know the country, the currency, and the locale as well. So the only thing I'm going to be passing as a query is the Stockholm. Yeah. So I'm going to go into query, um, and I think it's called um, query. The string is called query. Well, I'm going to make this um, more generic here. So this would have to be um, whatever this is. So all you just need to do is go on here and select place. And once we have that done, um, you can go into return. Um, for the status, um, you can put the status code from here. Um, for now, um, this is going to come up with a JSON, but I'm going to put in just something to, as a placeholder for now. Or I, I can use the same status code as well. So what you want to do, make sure you save. Now that this is all saved, um, let's test this. Let's find a way to test this. It's going to be very, if you notice from here, it's going to be very difficult to test this because this is a power virtual agent um, test flow. So what we want to do is find a way to get this connected to our um, chat bot here. So you can always just refresh. No, it doesn't really matter if you refresh from here, but it automatically picks it up sometimes. So call an action. And um, let's look for our um, flow from here. Let's select the flow. As you can see, we've been prompted to include a flow, um, to include a value rather. And I'm going to include the value called um, departing from. And there are two, play yeah, two outputs here as well. So I'm just going to present the status for now to the user or would amend this in a while. So we call it message from API and would include the um the status because the status and the um and the list of places are the same. So we can save this now. Let's refresh this and um let's go into hi. And what is your name? Um, colony. I'm gonna select quotes. So where are you departing from? I'm going to say London because we have that as a test example. And um, that goes through the API, and we get the stashes of two hundred. So two hundred just means it was successful. 
So we can go on to Power, um, Power Ultimate and we can look at the history as well. So the history says that has succeeded um, and we can kind of just look at the input and the values that were passed into it. So if we can always check this now and go into Power Virtual Agent. We can see that the input was London and um, we can go into the HTTP to look at what was the output from there. So we can see there's a body of, um, you know, it's JSON as well with different location as well. And um, yeah, and obviously we can see that um, the status was 200. That just means it was successful. And we're also passing the um, all of these values into the list of places and status as well. So that's how to connect um, Power Automate or Flow with um, Power Virtual Agent. I will be sharing in the next video how to um, you know, make meanings out of this JSON, how to um, parse this JSON as well. So stay with me and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys.